do another video about hairing a mask. Um, now, the only mask that I have right now that I need to hair is this one. This is a mask I made of the creature from the TV movie, Don't Be Afraid of the Dark. So, this mask only gets hair around the neck from here down, like a fur collar. So, that's what I'm going to use as my example in this video. Unfortunately, I don't have to hair a mask like this Frankenstein Karloff here, um, but the process is really the same. So, anyway. So the idea behind how you do this is, I'm just gonna talk briefly about it, is you have a mask with no hair on it. You use your glue, I use Mod Podge, and you start at the, pretend this mask had no hair on it. You paint a you start at the back of the neck and you work your way forward. So you take your paintbrush with your Mod Podge, which is glue, and I paint a stripe, you know, maybe half an inch, where I want the hair to, hairline to start. And then I press that hair down a bit at a time into that glue. Once I have the entire uh, white strip of glue with hair on it, which could take a minute or so, I go over that on top of the hair, on top of the end, with more glue to kind of keep it in place. Hairing a mask is almost like uh, putting shingles on a roof. You put one shingle down, and then the next shingle covers a bit of that shingle, and then the next shingle covers a bit of that one. So you're, so you're putting layer upon layer, so you're, the edges are covered by the next layer. That's how this was done. This, was, this hair was done one strip at a time, but it's layered on top. Anyway, you'll see. Now for this mask, I'm gonna be using uh, Llama Top Brown and mix in a little bit of this gray Caracool Top. Mostly it's gonna be brown, but I'm gonna put a little bit of gray just to break up the brownness on the character. All right, so I cut the hair I want. Um, you know, it comes braided, it, not braided, it comes in, you know, long pieces this thick. So I cut it, but now I'm gonna separate this because I'll explain why in a minute. But I got everything on my work table, my mask, my Mod Podge, and my hair all cut out, but just hold on. Okay, now what I've done here is I've taken the hair that I'm gonna use and I separated it into smaller bunches. The reason is, if you grab a ton of hair and you gotta stick it in the glue, a lot of that hair isn't gonna get glue on it. So you want to, what you wanna do is you wanna use smaller amounts of hair at a time. That way you're sure the hair is getting into the glue. Because if you don't do that, if you take big clumps of hair and stick it in the glue and do your mask that way, half the hair you're sticking on there is gonna not get attached and it's gonna fall off or not be glued on. And then you're wasting hair. Okay, so. I pulled my Mod Podge into this little container because it's easier to dip your brush into a small container than a big one. And Mod Podge, as you can see, is the consistency. It's like very, it's, it's not watery, but it's not too thick. And I like Mod Podge because it dries clear and also it dries slowly because if you're using rubber cement or latex, you know, that's gonna dry pretty quick and you don't wanna to have to rush putting your hair on. You don't wanna have a bunch of wet latex on your mask and you're rushing to put the hair in before it dries because then you'll do a sloppy job. So what I'm gonna do is, even though I'm only hairing, this mask is only getting hair around the neck, around the, like a collar, not the head, the process is still the same. What I'm gonna do now is the same way you do uh, Frankenstein's monster mask. You start at the bottom and you work your way up just like shingles on a roof layer upon layer. 
So I'm gonna I'm just gonna do the back right now. So I'm just gonna paint a layer of Mod Podge, and uh, and even though it's you don't want it to like be dripping off your brush because you don't want it dripping on the table or dripping onto the hair. So I'm just gonna do, and I'm not even though this is gonna the hair is gonna go around the whole thing. You can do the front and the back separately. It's all gonna overlap. In fact, I'm gonna do a piece of dried Mod Podge from the bucket. Um, I'm actually gonna put the hair right to the where the seam on the mask is. That way that'll give me, tell me where the front and back is. All right, so I'm just doing one strip like that. All right, I'm gonna put my brush and my Mod Podge to the side. And I'm gonna start grabbing some hair, spacing it out, and I'm just gonna plus it, put it on there. You don't press it, you press it down. You don't have to press it ridiculously hard. And you space it out a little bit and you press more. And basically I'm gonna do this to the entire length. So you don't want to put big clumps of hair. You want to thin it out, fan that hair out a little bit with your fingers. And you want to press it on, you know, so it's in the glue. You don't have to press, if you press it down too hard, you're going to get glue on your fingers. So you don't want to do that. I've been, you know, I, first, I don't know how, I've only been making masks a little over two years, but I've haired a fair amount, so I've done this a lot. So it does take getting used to. And uh, you don't want to put too much hair on at a time over the glue because then it's not going to it's not going to catch the glue and it's not going to stick and then you're wasting hair because it'll fall off. The point is you're you're pr you're pressing enough just enough hair that the, the hair is going to get glue on it and stay. So I'm just going to continue to do this, and some hair is going to come off anyway. You can't you know, but the bulk of it will stay on. And this is the only way I know how to do hairing on a, gluing hair on a mask. So if someone else has a better way, I'd love to hear it, but this is all I know. And it works for me, so that's why I do it. All right. This, hairing this mask should not take more than an hour because this is not doing, you know, a full head. It's not like it's a werewolf, it's just like a fur collar. more. All right. Now what I'm going to do is, and here's another important pot because, important thing, because this hair, you know, the top of this hair is exposed. The bottom is against the glue. But what I need to do now is, you take a little bit more Mod Podge, and this is very important. You got to do this carefully. Not too much glue. You're going to, over the tip, you're going to Paint. So basically, the tips, maybe the top quarter inch of hair here, you're gluing it on top. So this is going to keep it. So you right now, putting it down originally, you put it against the glue. Now you are gluing the tips of the hair, and you want to go about a quarter inch from the top. Because remember, you're going to put another layer. You're going to do this basically again starting here, so you're layering it. Okay, so I just finished applying the Mod Podge, which I brought with the brush, to the top quarter inch of all the hair going around. So, as you can see, it's, it's now, that's one row of hair around the, you know, the back half of the mask that is glued down. It's wet glue, of course. This is gonna take hours to dry but it's, that's one row. So basically the idea of hairing a mask is you're doing this like shingles on a roof, one layer. I'm gonna do this entire process again, but I'm gonna paint the latex right above it. And I'm gonna lay that hair down the same way. So you're doing layer, 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 work your way. If you were doing a full head mask, you'd work your way from the nape of the neck all the way to the forehead. Okay, 
And now I just finished putting the second layer on and I'm building it up. See, here's, you can see the difference between the second layer and it's on top of the first. Now also you have to remember this looks sloppy because you can't style the hair while it's wet. You have to let it dry completely. So when this thing is haired and I'm done with all the gluing, it's gonna look really stupid because once the glue is dry, like 12 hours from now or whatever, then I will, I will show that you gently pull out with your fingers. Any hair that isn't glued down will come out in your fingers. Then you can style it, you can spray it with hairspray, whatever. So I'm gonna keep moving on here. All right, the back half of the mask is done. So I have one, two, I have four, I forget, three or four layers. Here's what it looks like from the side view. Looks silly, but now I'm gonna do this whole process on the front like I did here. So, here we go. All right, so I just did the first row on the front of the mask. See how I, it lines up with the back. So now I'm gonna continue the process and I'm gonna do the next layer. And this hair is gonna go up to here. So really, I'll be done in a bit 15 minutes. Okay, and that's it for this stage of herring. It's completely, as you can see, the whole mask has hair on it where it's supposed to go. Now, you can still see some of it's, it's white, the glue, because it's wet and it's gonna take hours for this to dry, but that's why I like using Mod Podge because I was able to take my time and do it carefully. Now, if you look at this, it doesn't look very good and that's because I can't style it. So, I'm gonna have to let this dry and we'll continue this video hours from now and take a look at this because it's gonna change drastically. Once the glue is dry, I'm gonna reach in around the entire, carefully, not tug on the hair, but gently with fingers lightly pull, and all the hair that didn't get glue from all the layers, I'm gonna be able to take about five, 10 minutes to pull all that extraneous hair off gently, and all the hair that will be left on the mask will be the hair that the glue uh, attached to. And then when I do that, I'll be able to style it, make it look a little neater and nicer like the character. So right now, it has to sit and dry. So that is what I'm gonna let it do. So now, the glue is dry. As you, can't, you can kind of see, there's no white. It's, it's completely dry, the whole thing. So, what I'm gonna do now is, because it's very full and bushy, because there's there's so, there, you can see, I'm gonna gently now, just like this, there's a lot of hair here that the glue didn't catch. So I'm just gonna gently, you know, and I'm not pulling hard. I'm just going, I'm gonna start with the front. I'm just gonna reach in and run my fingers through. And you'll see some, most of the hair is staying on, but there's some small pieces that are coming off. And that's what you want. You want all the hair that isn't, that the glue just didn't catch when you put it on, you want that to come off because if you don't, it's gonna fall off eventually over time and get on everything. And, it, and plus it doesn't look good because it's too bushy. You only want the hair to stay on the mask that is glued on, if that makes any sense. So I'm just gonna spend five, 10 minutes going over I'll start, you know, I'm gonna do the front and I'll do the back and I'm just going to make sure I'm going through every layer. You know, all you have to do is just, just like I'm doing here, you're not pulling too hard. You just kind of, it's almost like if, um, if you have a dog and your dog has something in its fur and you just wanna you know, gently, you don't wanna hurt the dog, you just wanna gently run your fingers through it and it's gonna come out. So, as you can see, I'm still working on this. I pulled a fair amount of hair off, but you can also see, it's, the hair is looking a lot better on the mask. It's much more the way it's supposed to look on the character. And when I'm done removing, I'm almost done, I wanna take some scissors and I can also, you know, give this guy a little bit of a haircut. And it's, I don't want some hair to be you know, look, oh, that was underneath. That wasn't attached to the, there's some hair down here too, wait a minute. Yeah, 
some pieces here. All right. I might want to shorten the length on some areas just so it's more uniform. And when I'm done with all this and pulling all the excess hair out and everything, you can spray it with some hair hairspray or some Krylon Crystal Clear to give it a little bit more stiffness and to keep the style. Or you can just leave it. Cool thing about spraying with hairspray or Krylon is if you bring it to a show or you put it in a bag or the hair gets mashed down, you, you just can spray with a water bottle and set it again. This looks pretty good. So this hair can't be, you know, it can't be used again because it's, so I'm just going to throw it out. There was a way to do this that I didn't have hair that went into the garbage. I would do it, but I don't know any other way. One last thing I'm going to do to get rid of any extra hair is I'm just going to do this. I'm just gonna shake it. And you can kind of kind of press it down. Shake the mask. You see, little little hairs are. Falling around, falling off. That's how you get a really natural. There. Now I got a piece of styrofoam on me. All right. Now this hair on this mask, this is a lot different than it looked before I started removing the excess hair. This, ooh, piece of, piece of styrofoam. This looks very accurate to what the, so this is done. And this is, so basically, in this crazy video I've made, I hope this has explained how to apply hair to a mask. Um, you know, and if you're watching this and there's a better way to do it, please let me know. I'm going to probably, I'm out of hairspray right now, but I'm going to get some and I'm going to spray this tomorrow. And it's the next morning and I'm in the garage and I have my crystal clear. And I'm just going to go around spraying a little bit because it's just going to help keep that hair, you know, together. It's not going to, it's going to stiffen it a little bit and I'll, as I'll demonstrate when it's dry. I think that's good. You know, I spray it in the garage because this stuff stinks. It smells so bad. So, he looks very nice in the garage here with the snow blower and chairs for the deck <laughs> sitting on an old five gallon latex drum all right he's back in from the garage and as you can see the hair which this side has better lighting it's it's on there it's but you see how it's when i touch it it's not as loose it's kind of like group the the cry line keeps it all you know it's still hair it still looks the same as it did before but it's a little bit tighter so it's stronger and i think uh 
It's done.